Welcome everyone to part seven. Wow, wow, wow. We're already on part seven of editing your photos. Just a little reminder, if you have a photo that you want to send in, go ahead and send it to this email address that's on the screen right now. This particular photo was sent in by James and he says that he's new to photography. Looks like he has a Panasonic. Looks like he has a Panasonic a G Vario lens and he was brave enough to send this image in and I think this image is great. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. So the first First thing I'm gonna do is look and make sure that we're correctly exposed and I really want to be careful because you can see right down here where the Sun is shining through the clouds that's already overexposed um, so let's go ahead and just add in a little bit of contrast there you have to be so careful with sky pictures like this because they're so easy to blow out the clouds or the sky and just make it completely white now that we've done that let's go ahead and come over here to the local contrast and turn that on but let's bring the radius back quite a bit it doesn't need to be super prominent I just like how it pulls out the oil rig right here and then since this is a big sky picture I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the haze removal and you can see automatically we get a much different picture this is without this is with I'm getting a little bit of haloing around the oil rig so go ahead and pull the strength back how that disappears that Okay, next let's come into the color tab and let's move over to our HSV equalizer. Now what I really want to pull out is the blue here in the sky and then the orange yellow down here at the bottom of the image. So let's go ahead and grab the lightness, the value here, and let's grab a few of these tones. I'm just control clicking. Okay, so it looks like for the most part, it's this tonal range right here that is our clouds. And then let's go ahead and grab a few of these tones. That is our sky. And it looks like that. So now that we've figured out those tones, let's go ahead and get rid of any of the extra, extra little bits here. And then I'm gonna bring up the, the value. So let me see, turn that off, turn it on. And bring down the value to darken those clouds turn that off turn it on you can see that we've really crunched the colors here so I can tell that I've given this too much yeah, check that out you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and work with two okay something like that and then I'm gonna copy that curve and paste it in my saturation um, but then I'm going to bring the blue up as well maybe just leave that base okay and turn that off that doesn't look too bad. We can always add a little bit of soft light in there. And then the color toning. Like we did a few, a little while ago, we used the mask here. So I'm gonna use the color mask and I'm going to grab some of these colors here. Okay, and then just get rid of everything in between. Let's show the mask and sorry about all that brightness. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down and bring this down as well. Okay, so this is the mask that I came up with. Now I can turn that off and let's go ahead and add in that color toning. We can, can mess around with that and then maybe up the mask blur just, just a little bit. So now you can see we've kind of got this red flow coming here from the sunrise and then up into the blue. So I like this, but I do feel like we've actually overdone it in the sky here. Um, but there's no way that we're going to fix that here in raw therapy. So let's go ahead and move over into GIMP. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the external editor button. And then I'm actually going to just go ahead and uh, duplicate the image and then drop that here into GIMP in order to open up an unedited image. <clears throat> and then just go ahead and close raw therapy after that opens up. And now we have these two images. We have the original and here the edited. So let's go ahead and grab the original and click E that we want a layer mask with white full opacity. And then we'll hit G in order to pull up the gradient tool. And now we can go ahead and do a nice gradient mask that allows us to keep the beauty that was kind of this gray sky. Mm, I think something like that. Okay, once I've done that, we can right click and then come down here to merge layer down so now we've we've kind of done a doozy on the colors and you can see that the that the noise is pretty bad so let me go ahead and duplicate this Control shift d and i'm going to turn off this top layer and select the bottom layer and then we'll come here to filters enhance and noise reduction let's go ahead and increase the noise reduction mm, i'm going to say something like six i can turn off the preview to see what it was before we might even need to go higher 
I'm going to click OK and let it noise reduce. Then if I hit the backslash on my keyboard, this brings up these search actions and I'm going to type in symmetry. And what I want is this symmetric nearest neighbor. And this one, I can go ahead and increase a lot as well. Yeah, and I think something like that is good. Okay, so now we've gone ahead and done quite a job on getting rid of some of the noise, but we have this image right here, which we're going to use to bring back the detail in the oil rig. So I'm gonna hit Control Shift D, duplicate this one more time, and then go to Colors, Desaturate, desaturate and click OK. And then I'm gonna grab the colors tool and the level. And what I want is I wanna go ahead and find a light part of the oil rig and a dark part of the clouds. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. OK, you can see that we have a lot of darkness here, but in these areas where we actually want noise reduction on the rig, we can go ahead and we have white, which is actually head, perfect. Head. So now we can come here to colors and we can go to invert invert the colors, and then we come down here to our non-noise reduced layer and add in a layer mask, and then grab our black and white image and hit Control A and Control C to copy it, then select our layer mask and hit Control V, click the anchor button down here. Now, if I turn off that black and white mask, you can see that we've actually brought back a lot of that detail without having to do too much work. Although you can also see here that a lot of that noise was brought back in. So what we can do is just Alt click on the image layer, hit P for our brush tool, increase the size quite a bit, bring the hardness down to zero, and with the black color selected, we can just paint all of that out, being careful not to delete the pieces that we want to keep. Okay, and then I'll click on the image layer again. So this is before, this is after. So anyway, James, I really appreciate you sending in this photo. This is a great shot. Uh, for all the rest of you, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys sending in photos. Keep sending them in. I love editing them. I hope you guys like these videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want or don't, you know, you're a free person. You can do whatever you feel is right. Stay safe out there and I will see you next time.